In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how the Stellar Cyber Platform is better than the traditional SIM, specifically Alien Vault. You know, we have had great success in converting many enterprises and MSSP from using the Alien Vault platform over to our open XDR AI machine learning based platform. In this session, I'm going to go through three different areas and why customers are moving over to the Stellar Cyber platform. Number one, Stellar Cyber's Open XDR platform was built with multi-tenancy from day one. What that means is that it drives the isolation of departments and affiliates and customers when you want to onboard to the platform. The important thing is how easy is it for you to onboard customer? It's gonna be critical, which ultimately improves the efficiency of the security operation team. For Alien Vault, Onboarding a new customer would typically require days to provision, whereas for Stellar Cyber, it only takes minutes. So let me go ahead and demonstrate to you in the UI. So here's the dashboard. Essentially, when you want to onboard a new customer, you just go into the admin under the tenant management, and you can see a whole list of tenants that has already been created. So if I just go ahead and pick one of these tenants, when you are onboarding a new customer, all you have to provide is the customer information and also specify the retention group. So there is a default retention group, but obviously every customer environment is different. So this pertains to you know, how long they want to store their logs. And as soon as you submit, click on the submit, the tenant has actually been created. So whichever retention group you decide to use, essentially all the tenants on the platform share this common storage of the data lake, which really provides you the flexibility. So there's no storage quarter that you need to set per tenant you know, on the Stellar Cyber Platform. The second reason why customers are moving over to the Stellar Cyber Platform is that within the platform in itself, we provide you the ability to manually respond as well as to automate the response directly from our playbook. So let me walk you through an example. So to do that, let's go ahead and look at a specific event. So I'm looking at the CNC category of the kill chain so looking at the encrypted CNC event, I show that there are four critical events that we have actually triggered. Going into the more info, which essentially will put you into the actual evidence of the record, here your analyst will be able to see what the specific events was, was triggered. We give an explanation, the fidelity, the severity, and for every detections that we trigger, we will also provide you with the key fields that we use to trigger the event. So there's no black box in terms of, you know, how detections are being triggered. So this is all, you know, showed and displayed to your analysts. And after your analysts have gone through the investigation, now the key important thing to know is that right within this platform, you have then the option to take action, right? So the taking of the action is really done right from this record. So this is where once you actually have the firewall um, integration configured, you all basically just have to click on this block firewall, specify the firewall that you want to block it on, um, you can also specify whether you want to block it on the source or the destination. And if your analyst were to require additional time to investigate, they can essentially go and filter and specify, I want to go ahead and just block it on the firewall for the next two hours while I continue to do my investigation. So as soon as you click on the submit, it actually makes a API call to the firewall 
to make the change. So this is something that is not available if you're on the Alien Vault uh, platform. The third reason why customers are moving on to the Stellar Cyber platform is that in addition to the security events that we trigger across the entire kill chain, we also have out of the box user behavior detections you know, within our platform. This is something that Alien Vault is just beginning to do because in most traditional SIM, you have to essentially write manual rules and to be able to baseline user behavior, that is something that is impossible to do it with a traditional SIM. So let me just explain what are some of the events that we trigger uh, that will actually require machine learning. So if I go into the detect under the user detection, you can specifically see we've got three, three examples. I've got the user asset access anomaly. And what that means is that if that user was baseline not to access a specific server and out of a sudden, this user now is accessing that you know, SQL server, that will be an anomaly, okay? The second example is login time anomaly. So what we do on the platform is that we baseline every single user, you know, what is the typical login time that this user actually logs onto the network. And then after we have learned that, we will then look for changes in the behavior. And that is not something that you can easily write rules for if you're using uh, Alien Vault. And the last example is user login location. So we not only baseline the time that this user logs in, but we also baseline where does this user typically logs in from? So, you know, I've done a lot of the POCs and one example was in this POC, this user typically logs in from, you know, California. And out of a sudden, we see that this user now logs in, you know, from, you know, Mexico. So those are the things that will be impossible for you to leverage a traditional SIM like Alien Vault to be able to trigger user-specific behavior. So we essentially just use our machine learning to be able to trigger these events. So these are the top three areas why Alien Vault customers are moving over to the Stellar Cyber Open XDR platform. I hope this session has been helpful for you. To learn more, click on the request demo button on our website. Thank you for your time.